Hey right, man, it's your boy Mike B, man. I got a little supporters right here with me. Shout your names out, man. It's KJ. It's Moses. KJ. And who? Moses. Moses, man. Tell them what y'all do, man. What y'all do? Who y'all be? We play basketball and do boxing. They play football, they do boxing, they do basketball, they do whatever they need to do. To keep them sports up the grades, right, man. Y'all gonna make it somewhere with that stuff, man. You decide you wanna be a YouTuber one day. Just grab your camera, man. You never know what you can do, bro. Who y'all favorite YouTuber, you know? Um, pretty boy Fredo. Pretty boy Fredo. I rock with Pretty boy Fredo, bro. He Me got, too. he hot. Y'all stay safe, man. Uh, All right, go check that channel out. Y'all gonna be on there, man. Uh, okay. With a gang, man. Another day, another V. Y'all know what time it is, man. And today, what I'm about to do, man. We got a little video I'm about to do right quick. I'm gonna go out to pull apart. I got a. Um, I tried calling some parts stores actually because my turn signal's not working. So I gotta buy some flashes and put on here. That's the only thing I'm thinking it can be since I checked the fuses. As y'all can tell you on the base, you mean my, it's all junky, but I did check my fuses or whatever. But that's not the problem, man. So I'm gonna leave that part alone. We're gonna move on to the flashes and see if that's gonna fix this problem on this 2000 build and saber, man. Uh, I'm talking about every problem after problem with this car, yeah. Like I bought this car just to vlog with and just to. <laughs> Keep fixing problems with uh, About to head out here to pull apart right quick, man. Hopefully, they got a car with some good flashes on. I'm gonna grab a couple of sets of flashes just in case, you know, one set don't work. At least I did take my time to get to. Uh, like I said, nobody in Jackson, Mississippi, where I'm at right now, nobody has a park in stock at a spot at a uh, auto zone or at an advanced auto parts job. So. I'm about to get out this talking right quick. I'm going to focus on this road, get where we need to be, man. Just try to slow down all these speed bumps before I be fixing another rim, man. But we're going to get on over here to pull apart and pull these flashes out right quick, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like, y'all subscribe to this channel, turn on post notifications on. Also, comment all your thoughts down below, man. <laughs> Another thing we're gonna check on while we out here is trying to get that speed sensor for the uh, for the speedometer to work, man. That way I can get my damn speed back working out here. Cause yeah, I don't know how fast I'm going, man. I should be out here driving, y'all. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be safe with it while I'm doing it. Same time, though. Catch y'all when I get up to the pull up bar, man. Pull up here to pull apart as y'all can see, man. And your boyfriend come up out this jacket because it is hot out here for one. I'm not gonna be out here sweating my ass so you feel me, man. I'm trying to just get a little flash and get up out of here. That's about all we need. Oh yeah, and I did say so I'm gonna get that thing my spit on my speed sensor, so I'm gonna check that out too. Yeah. But let your boy get up out this shirt and we'll be right back. I think your boy had an extra shirt in the back, man. But uh yeah, this is one of my real life might be shirts, man. Y'all see I've been working on getting my shirts together, let people know who I am, what I'm doing. But I'm about to give y'all a little prick. What? A little quick preview of um how to get the flash up out of here, alright? How with this guy, y'all see this step number one right here. As y'all can see I got the um uh, it's the little black piece that go up under here and number two screws holding that one right there, y'all, and another one over here on this side up there. So that my only two screws you gotta take that out with. This right here, it gotta come down. It's up here, like where your stern column goes. This sits up there, guys. So that only come down by really you just snatching it down. There's nothing hard to do at all. So, but where your flasher is, it's gonna be located once you take that black piece off. I was showing y'all right there. Once you take that black piece off, that's where your flasher gonna be located. It's gonna be the big black box. So we gonna go up and pull apart, try to get us one of these, cause. AutoZone, Advanced, O'Reilly's, I call it everybody. They don't have one in stock, y'all. All right, gang, here go the tools I'm gonna be grabbing, man. I got my, uh, well, I got accessory of everything in there, so 
That's just in case I need screwdriver, flathead, Phillips heads, whatever. I got my um, air ratchet right here, my electric air ratchet that I did by taking that with me. And I'm taking this socket kit with me because you never know what you run into that you might need in there, yeah. But let's get on in here, man. All right, gang, of course we run to the first Buick. We do see, man, pull apart, got it all jacked up already. Shit, like somebody took the whole transmission out this thing, man. Well, I'm about to get around here since I'm not gonna find that sensor I was looking for. Look at all that, man. It's gone. I don't think they left with the flywheel wheel and stuff. But uh, since I'm not gonna find that sensor, at least I am gonna do up. Most likely the flash around here do work. This thing got some decent interior in here too, man. It ain't that bad looking. It look pretty decent though, but uh, it ain't what we here for. We about to snatch this up off here. Get this black piece up out the way under here, y'all. And take this flash out of this car, man. That way we can put it in my car and pray to God that my turning signals turn back on. But I'm gonna get my tool situated right quick. I did bring my little camera stand with me, so. All right, gang, I'm hoping y'all can hear me. I do got my mask on, cause you know, COVID's still going around this place. But this, that bottom panel that I was showing y'all in my car, gonna be the first step you gotta take off to get to the flasher. So all you do with this, you just put your hands on here, and grab it, hold on, boy. Yeah, y'all, you didn't hurt nothing, man. Look at the back of it. Everything's still there, all the clips and everything. So once you snatch that out the way, you know, your next step gonna be getting this out the way. And those are gonna be uh, two seven millimeter bolts, actually. One and two right there. And you got these little black clips right here, but you can just snatch that up out of there too, y'all. It's nothing hard. So I'm gonna get my tools together, and I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna get that off. And I got my seven millimeter. I got my ratchet together. We're gonna snatch this off. All right, so we got one and two off, as y'all can tell, man. And then you just pull this off, and boom. Let me get this camera down a little bit. Now you're able to get up into your flashers. This should be located. Can't get a good view, y'all. So for one, we gonna take this out the way. If you can't get a good view, just snatch that up out the way. Now you can stick your head in here and get how you need it to be. Okay. So now the flasher, you put your hand right up under here. Right up under here, guys. Your flash will be located right there. Just it's a little clip holding it in. So you're gonna have to do a little work. But I'm gonna get this clip out right quick and I'll be right back with y'all. I got that clip out. I didn't need any tools or anything. You don't need anything. You just pull on it real hard and you'll get it out. So this is what it looks like once you get it out. It'll be this box right here, guys. It go a part number if y'all need. But this that box right here. And this little clip I was talking about that's holding it too. So we're gonna get up out of here. We got one thing we needed. I'm gonna go look around and see if I can find a um another car right quick. Gang, man, we back up in here. I did get that flash right I needed. I'm gonna leave my tools back there. Hopefully nobody mess with them, man. But uh, I saw a Buick over here I want to take a look at. It was a white one. So we're gonna go check that out right quick. That fact is over this way. I wanna check this Buick out right quick, y'all, and see what's going on with it. This transmission's gone for sure. I wish I would have came out to pull apart. I started to come out to pull apart and get me a transmission, yeah, but I was scared on taking that chance of trying to get one, you know, for the fact that it might not work. You know, the only way I could figure it did work is like looking at damage like this right here. You see how that's damaged? So, yeah, that might tell you that, hey, that car was moving. Somebody wrecked it. That transmission worked. So somebody basically got this whole transmission and the motor up out of here, yeah. But I'm finna look and see if they got a flashers in here, which I'm sure they do. Or if nobody took them already, man, they took the whole dash out this thing, y'all. Yeah. They had a bad wreck of it, huh? Let's just get that out of my way. Yeah, nice how I didn't break that. 
just in case somebody else wanted. So yeah, they got two uh two bolts on here. I'm gonna go and grab my little seven millimeter ratchet right quick, and I'm gonna get that up out of there, y'all. Then we're gonna get up out of here. Cause it's really hot out here, man. And again, it's one more Buick up there. Let's check it out, y'all. Let's let's get in one glance right quick. Cause I just want to really find something that got a transmission in this deal, so I can see if you know I get this speed sensor up out here. Cause I would like to know how fast I'm going right now. I'm being smart though. I'm using my Google Maps, and of course, it's telling me how fast I'm going. Uh, this transmission looks shot. Spark plugs look fairly new in there though. And you see Delco spark plugs. But uh, yeah, this transmission looks shot. I think we just gonna wait on that sensor, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna try to just go buy one actually. Got a brand new one. Get this. But uh, gang, I'm finna get my little stuff and get up out of here, man. Gang, I did go on and slide my other flash around there. This is my old one right here. And that's the one that I just got from Pull Apart, which is not working. So, I guess they have a bigger problem than what I'm thinking. This was crazy, this works. But my turning signals will not do anything. I've checked the signals, I've checked the flasher, of course. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some more diagnostics and probably just go and get it to a shop again, man. I'm so tired of going to the shop with this car, y'all, but it is what it is. Matter of fact, you know, my speed, I'm gonna start working. All that stopped working at the same time, I don't know why, so. I'm probably gonna have to drop it off at the next shop, but I'm gonna get more back at y'all when I make it to the house, man. A little frustrated right now. All right, gang, we back up in here, man. I really don't know what to say about this situation other than, you know, I tried the fuse box. I checked all the fuses in there. One fuse was blown. I hooked it back up, no problem. And um, I checked out other fuses, y'all. I checked the relays as far as, you know, the flasher. I don't know what's going on. So I think my next step gonna be doing, trying to go and get us to the shop. Or do y'all think that I should just go and get rid of this car, man? Y'all comment them thoughts down below. Cause this car been giving me the blues since I had it, man. I'm I spent money on money on money. And I spent like 3000 to get it. As soon as I spent that 3000 when I first got it, I probably spent about 400 more because I had an electrical problem then. So like we going right back to the electric shop. And then I did other stuff to the motor, you know. Just I've been putting a lot of money in this car since I bought it, yeah. But um Y'all like, y'all subscribe, y'all comment, man. Your boy about to get in this house, try to work his brain a little bit more before I just give up for the day on this because I really don't like giving up on nothing. But y'all like, y'all subscribe, y'all comment, drop your thoughts down below, man. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything, y'all. Uh, Ned, man, your boy might be him about this thing. Peace. Yeah.